This is a setup video on how to get our GTN 750 and 650 up and running with X-Plane 11. This video will be showing the 750, but it's the exact same process for the 650. Inside the box, you'll find our quick start checklist various links to setup guides and a quick rundown of what we're about to do here in the video. We have our 12 volt power supply. This is a 2 amp unit. Four mounting screws threaded for plastic. M3 by 6 millimeter. Just about a quarter of an inch. These are intended to be inserted from the back of the GTN 650-750 dual desktop stand with the corresponding mounting holes in the back of the 750 and 650 respectively. Here is a 90 degree HDMI connector, female to male, a USB A to B cable with a 90 degree connector. This will run the buttons and knobs from the unit. And finally the unit itself here is showing the touchscreen cable that's hardwired to the unit and also the 12 volt power supply jack and the HDMI jack. Last we have the detachable USB port. Next we will show the stand installation and cable connections. Installation of the GTN 750 is done by using the provided holes in the back of the unit lining them up with the holes in the stand. Uh, the 650 is done the exact same way. Just insert the unit from the front, making sure the hardwired touchscreen cable gets in there okay. And just lay the unit down on something soft and line up the holes with the unit with the mounting holes on the stand and insert the screws from the back. Make sure when tightening the screws don't crank them down so tight that the bezel will compress against the touchscreen, giving false readings and otherwise unwanted behavior. Now we have the unit installed into the stand, we can talk about how we're going to connect the display to the PC. For this example, we'll be utilizing a dual HDMI to USB 3.0 adapter, but you can just as well go direct to your graphics card from the HDMI out on the back of your unit using the corresponding adapter if necessary to an open port. The HDMI cable is not provided with the unit. You will need to provide your own cabling depending on your situation. Here we have the 90 degree connector on the end of the HDMI cable. We will now plug that in to the HDMI port on the 750. Next, we'll take the 12 volt power adapter and plug the barrel jack into the 12 volt power socket on the unit. Of course, the other end of the power supply goes to the household power. To complete the cabling, we will plug the USB A to B right angle cable into the rear of the unit. Now we will connect the GTN display to the PC. First we'll power it up by plugging in the 12 volt adapter to the household power. Now the screen should light up blue letting us know that there's power to the display. Next is connecting the HDMI to the PC. In this case we'll be using the dual HDMI to USB 3.0 adapter. You should now see the Windows desktop background on your 750 display. You will notice the orientation needs to be adjusted. We will fix that in a later step. We can continue with the USB connections with the touch screen and then followed by the buttons and knobs detachable USB A to B connection. Back in the Windows desktop, we will reorient the 750 display 
right click a blank area of the desktop and choose display settings. In the subsequent menu click on the 750 display which happens to be number 4 in this case. Scroll down to the orientation and select portrait flipped. Click on keep changes and you will see that the icon is now in the upright position on the 750. If we identify the number 4 is also in the upright position. Left click and hold on the 750 display and drag it to the left of the primary display and click apply. We will use this position in a later step to manually hide the Windows title bar in X-Plane 11. This is how to download and install the Reality XP software. First you want to open a browser and go to realityxp.com. Once in the store you want to browse to the products and go product catalog and make sure you get the X-Plane 11, 750 and 650. And you just want to check out. And you can download the coupons if you like and depending on whether you're getting one or both at the same time depends on which coupon you get for this purpose we'll just be doing the 750 and we choose download now we get the e-commerce installer to the desktop uh, that's where we chose to download it go ahead and double click it to run it and you can test the connection if you like click continue to start the e-commerce purchase process here it is highly recommended to fill out the personal information and a Flight One login just in case you want to reinstall things again. It makes uh, life a lot easier. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory there. If you want to use your coupon, go ahead and click on the coupon box and you will navigate to where you downloaded the coupon. Make sure you extract it first and then click yes and then here's your extracted folder this one happens to be extracted to the desktop and you select the CPN file and that will knock the price down Click OK for this purposes I've already done this of course so I'm just going to reinstall and after your successful purchase process it will extract to C colon reality XP by default you want to click OK and you want to extract afterwards just click OK through the process we just want to install the X.11 plugin we don't need 10 or 9 and continue on make sure the path is correct this one happens to be in but if yours is the root of the C drive or most likely on desktop you just want to make sure that path is correct yes we want to install the Garmin trainer you can check if you have the latest installer most likely if you just downloaded it then you already do click start sign your life away and go ahead and let the Garmin Trainer install you do not want to start them on exit just go ahead and exit now and the installer is finished back in X-Plane 11 go to plugins go to Reality XP GTN 1 750 this will enable the Reality XP 750 within the X-Plane 11 virtual cockpit. You will see now that the bezel is around the 750. We will take care of that in a later step. What we want to do now is just to make sure that these are enabled in all the aircraft we want to use them for at this time. The next step is to make sure Use Simulator GPS Commands is selected within the Reality XP Settings menu. We go to Plugins, we go to Reality XP GTN1 Settings, and scroll down to the Advanced Settings portion of the Reality XP Settings menu. Here you will find Use Simulator GPS Commands and just make sure that that box is ticked. 
Now the initial setup is done, let's exit the sim and install the plugin and update the firmware. Go ahead and open up a browser, go to realsimgear.com. Once there, go to our setup and support page. From the downloads, you want just the downloads. And go ahead and grab that X-Plane 11 plugin installer and also our firmware update utility installer which is further down the page. Once you download them both I recommend running the firmware update utility installer first. Just double click the downloaded exe file and follow the prompts. Go ahead and check the box to run it on exit and it will scan the COM ports and will find all of your real sim gear devices and let you know if there's a firmware update needed or if you are up to date. The latest as of today is 3.2.4. You can go ahead and exit. For the X-Plane plugin installer portion, go ahead and run the installer, select GTN 750 and 650 when prompted make sure the path is correct to the X-Plane 11 main folder. Go ahead and run the installer. At the end select yes to remove the bezels from the Reality XP popped out windows that we did in the initial setup section. The final portion of the installer will install the pin mount driver to drive your 750 and or 650 touchscreen. Follow the prompts and reboot when necessary. Back in X-Plane 11, you can see the bezel is removed from the Reality XP pop-out. Now if we go to Plugins, Reality XP GTN1, and we want to pop out that window. That way we get a white windows title bar and we can drag it to a display of our choice. In our case, we moved the 750 display to the left of the primary display. So here we are manually resizing the window to fit exactly the way we want it to fit inside the 750 display. 